Nearly every day, a merchant, financial institution, or healthcare entity makes headlines because of a data breach. These incidents can impact thousands of people and have reputational, legal, and financial implications, whether it's social security numbers, healthcare data, or primary account numbers. This information is readily available. MasterCard's Franchise Dispute Resolution Team is responsible for investigating any instance where MasterCard account data may have been exposed due to a compromise. What does an account data compromise event look like? Typically, a cardholder will go out and perform legitimate transactions at a merchant who is breached. Once they swipe their card or enter their payment card credentials, the attacker now has access to the magnetic stripe data or the PAN, expiration, and CVC2 values of the card. The hacker may create counterfeit cards or sell the credentials on the dark web. Fraud then starts to occur, and it can occur literally all over the world, despite the fact that the customer's physical card is still inside their wallet. Our team has watched the progression of cyber criminals and have seen their attacks become more and more sophisticated. Today, I'd like to discuss ATM cash out attacks in an effort to spread awareness and ensure financial institutions are in the best position to protect themselves from these devastating attacks. MasterCard has investigated numerous cash outs after banks suffered millions of dollars in losses. So, what is an ATM cash out attack? You may be picturing a bank heist with guns and masks, but these attacks instead employ laptops and the internet. Attackers will hack into the card issuer or processor to gain privileged system access. This commonly occurs through phishing email attacks. It's also possible that a bank insider will intentionally open the door to attackers. After gaining control into the bank's network, they'll install malware and remove fraud controls, such as maximum ATM withdrawal amounts or limits on the number of ATM transactions that can occur each day. The hackers also may alter account balances. These manipulations allow for an unlimited amount of money to be available at the time of the attack. Now, some events leverage the magnetic stripe and create counterfeit cards, while others actually use legitimate EMV cards. How is that possible? The criminals will prey on the disadvantaged and the vulnerable by hiring them to open genuine debit accounts at a local bank to obtain valid chip and pin cards. These individuals may not even realize that they're committing a crime, and ultimately it's their face on any security cameras at the bank, masking the identity of the true criminals. The valid cards obtained will be distributed to money mules, who are instructed to go to designated ATMs at specific times and withdraw cash. These cards, whose limits have been manipulated, are used to withdraw millions of dollars from ATMs. These ATM locations often lack basic physical security controls, such as cameras and may be located within close proximity to each other to maximize profits within short time frames. The attacks are coordinated and occur simultaneously at multiple ATMs and often go undetected before it's too late. One of the most devastating cash outs feels like a Hollywood crime film. A few years ago, criminals spent months hacking into a bank and their credit and debit card processors in Asia Pacific. According to publicly available news sources, the attackers secured 12 debit account numbers and erased their limits. They then encoded that stolen magnetic stripe data onto other cards, such as gift cards, even old hotel keys. Cards were sent to money mules in 24 countries who made 36,000 transactions in 10 hours, resulting in a cash out of nearly $40 million. Cameras in New York City captured the mules stuffing their backpacks with cash. Backpacks that got heavier and heavier as each ATM was hit. The money was quickly laundered and poured into luxury items, including high-end cars and designer watches. To top it all off, the ringleader of the New York cashing crew was murdered by two hooded gunmen who broke into his house once authorities began making arrests related to this incident. How can you prevent ATM cash outs? At the very minimum, customers need to validate PCI compliance annually. There are 12 requirements that the payment card industry's five brands established in an effort to protect cardholder data. Every single breach our team has ever investigated had at least one of these requirements not in place. 
Unfortunately, oftentimes investigations will determine that all 12 requirements were not in place. Other best practices include using multi-factor authentication and strong passwords. Remote access should never be left in always on mode. Only use it when specifically requested and expected. And beware of suspicious looking emails and attachments. Finally, education is key. Make sure every single employee at every level of your organization is aware of these attacks and just how dangerous they can be. Together, using these best practice security measures, we can improve and secure the payments ecosystem and prevent ATM cash out attacks. I'm Ron Green, MasterCard's Chief Security Officer, and I'm responsible for securing our network and the broader payments ecosystem. We are all more connected than ever before. Unfortunately, so are the hackers, fraudsters, and money launderers. Your security behavior has upstream and downstream impacts, so we're relying on you to do your part because security is everyone's responsibility. To help, MasterCard has partnered with organizations like No More Ransom, the Global Cyber Alliance, and the Cyber Readiness Institute to offer you free access to the tools you need to get started. And as you grow, MasterCard is here with easy to implement and simple to use security solutions that will scale with you to secure and enable your digital world across every interaction.